Hey Collective, let's get some messages for the 10th. This is June 2022. And this is Collective Consciousness Energy. It's usually within a 24 hour time frame from the viewing, and this is just the recording of. Um, the energy. So it's a timeless reading. All right, collective energy. What is going on? What is the energy? Please, God, clear, concise messages on a three. Thank you, Amen. All right, what is the situation today? What's collective energy situation today? Magician jumping out, flipping around right in the deck. This is nice. This is more air energy. We saw the um, star yesterday that was air energy. Now we have Mercury and we have some Gemini energy here. So this is the great manifester. This is having everything you need to move forward on a plan, any plan that you have here, you know exactly where to get everything. This can be considered trickster energy. We'll see what it's around um, <clears throat> as more cards come out here. But for the situation, um, you don't have to be dealing with the Gemini or, or even have planets um, in your third house or, you know, um, have any air in your chart. This is just very powerful manifestation energy, essentially. We have the infinity symbol atop of the magician's head here. So there is a wisdom here about you know, polars, polar opposites. Um, the yin and yang, essentially, is the energy here for that today for me. Yeah, all of the suits are featured in this card. It's the only card, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, out of the whole deck that has all of the elements in it, literally, like, like, pictured in the whole thing so there's a lot of power and potential manifestation is in the mind as we know right it's air energy but it's extremely potent here so manifestation efforts could become clear very quickly or or whatever shows up here for how you're thinking and feeling about it for example and then we'll have a most probable outcome is how you're about to tackle, <laughs> essentially, this power. So this is really lovely energy, <laughs> by the way, for the entire situation. All right, what are you or the other person's thoughts about the situation? Everything could feel like it's at your fingertips here with this energy, or at least you would like it to be. Or, you know, you're preparing something here. All 
All right, you are the other person's thoughts, okay. <laughs> So it's always important what the other cards are surrounded by, and this is why. So the Seven of Cor uh, Swords, rather, coming out in the thoughts about the situation. So now we have, you know, there's playful, tricky energy here, but he's a great manifester. Now with the Seven of Swords showing up in the thoughts about this, there's some, like, great bull esser energy here. This is generally energy about trying to get away with something, trying to get away from something by trying to make everyone happy. And there is this tricky energy here. It can be considered deceptive. Now it can also be considered going your own way and lone wolf energy and you're just doing your own thing. So there's um that sort of quality as well where there's you could have strategy. It's the fact that these two, and this is air energy as well, right? This is programming, communication, ideas, thoughts, etc. I mean, with these two right now, <clears throat> excuse me, right now, there's the sense of, you know, foolery. Like maybe there could be something about communicating some sort of foolery here. <clears throat> Let's see what your feelings, you or the other person's feelings about this situation for the 10th. someone um, there's a sense of like something behind the scenes as well these sort of flipped up in the situation here by the way they were flipping um, as I was shuffling yeah so it does look like it could have to do so whenever I'm dealing with wands there is always the energy of love romance passion sex right so here we have three wands in the heart Based in the feelings about this situation so <laughs> this is just kind of funny because somebody is willing to almost say anything here like what do I have to say here to lay it down basically if this is a lover romance reading for you yeah and this person is probably like there's big daddy energy here it's fifth house we have leo rules um this you know king of the castle right the king of wands is literally opposite of his castle here in the four of wands so and with the ace of wands in the center that is a brand like an just overwhelming passion about this loving passionate household who to share your home with um this could be, if this is all about you and your situation, this could just be about, you know, trying to get around something having to do with a new home. Literally, you could be a Leo watching um, or, or that could be someone in the environment here. An older fire sign male is indicated here as well. But yeah, brand new beginning. This is sometimes indicated as the birth of a child. So that could be part of it as well, but your feelings are very, very passionate. Brand new beginning. The Ace of Wands is beautiful. Aces are beautiful no matter what. And this is gorgeous energy, like all alone with nothing around these cards together. I mean, this is beautiful in the heart space for sure. So you're, there's definitely this sense of like around this situation, there's a sense of this passionate new beginning around this ho household and then the thoughts about it are, yeah, a little, you know, watch for self-deception or this communicative sort of trickery, if that's the case. You or the other person, someone, it could it just be in your environment here as well. It could be your thoughts about manifestation here, okay? It's just the thinking about the situation and this is, this is only minor arcana here in the thoughts, so 
this could just be you or the other person tinkering around in their mind really about how to solve. Maybe there's a riddle here or like um like something to solve. Uh, like a task or a test or something. I mean, remember the king is, you know, the master, like he's been through it all. So this is determination as well with fixed energy associated with the king of um, wands. So a great deal of determination. Creativity and sex and leisure is indicated here as well. And yeah, happy home. So, okay. So what's the most probable outcome here for this situation collective? <laughs> All right, jumping out in the progressive is <laughs> lands like this. It's essentially upright. What it means is that this is going to be very fast moving energy. So, um, or very, it's ongoing. <laughs> so more air energy, check this out. So in the most probable outcome, someone is really <laughs> interested in finding out exactly what they need here. Again, I just don't see it as terrible energy. Just, we'll see if there's pentacles that come out here as well, but I would say overall, this could just be an exciting new adventure where you just need some more information. The page of swords here is considered, you know, the spy card. But essentially, that just means vigilance. It's just very curious, <laughs> very curious energy. So, you know, in the highest realms here, these two energies together, you know, finding your way through, say, a matrix or a maze that, like, there's a lot of heart in this. There's a lot of heart in figuring this out. And that's why I'm really hesitant to say this is, like, super tricky and negative energy here, right? It's it's not, it has that potential, but here there's this element of learning, right? This page is discovering things, reading things, um, looking things up. Uh, spy means in the digital era, right? It just means, you know, looking at people's social media and stuff like that, but it's a curiosity. You have to be interested in that, right? So, um, very interesting, <laughs> if I haven't used that 900 times already. Uh, but they always, these readings are always different, as you know, and it's just very interesting what comes out. I'm always as surprised as you are, so... You could be dealing with a younger male air sign here as well. Possibly much younger. Okay, wowzers, yeah, and then... Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very interesting energy. There's more, there's a sense for overall energy here. The five of pentacles is coming back up. It was here yesterday. The nine of swords is showing back up. It was here yesterday as well. So something is still undone, right? We, we definitely have, there is a process here. Something is in process for sure because something needs to be manifested and this needs to be figured out. But this heart space is for real. So now we have two kings. Now we have business opportunities. This could be a workplace or a business decision. Like I say, there could be a new actual home um, here or a new venture. A spark of genius. Right? New life. So I'm going to pay attention to the these energies and this in just a moment. I did just want to point out some of the energies that we saw yesterday. They're sort of fading away here as we gather ourselves and, you know, right, move away from yesterday's energies. So external energy to you or situations that could be playing out with relation to the situation um, and its components here is the King of Cups, the Empress, and the Three of Cups. 
Yeah, I mean, someone is definitely feeling a lot. There's a lot of feelings here. There, you could be, um, yeah, this could be about motherhood, parenthood. We do have two kings here though as well. So we have a three over here. Mm, you know, depending on your situation, there could be a third party. There could be two actual males. Um, or, you know, or, uh, generally speaking, you know, trying to figure out or a female trying to figure out where she would be happiest essentially because of this cup's energy, right? And that's why heart is really important. So emotions are really important here, but this is like courage and strength and vitality. And here we have deep emotions, almost hidden emotions, right? Here with the king of cups, some Scorpio energy, Taurus and Libra energy here with the Empress. Mm, there's celebration energy, uh, reunion also with this beautiful Three of Cups card. It's just such a gentle, celebratory energy. So some, you know, outside of the situation here, or this could even be what is part and parcel of the manifestation with it being a major and this being a major. These are the only two majors out of the whole reading. So, and yeah, because of this passion here, remember the Empress isn't just about a female or the Divine Feminine, although it is that. It is also Venus energy, right? Love, beauty, art, and motherhood, mothers. It is the Great Mother. And there's a lot of love here. There's some deep, perhaps hidden feelings around this person or this energy. Um, and in, in you or the other person's feelings about manifesting, you know, what's going on here, what's, what is the vision here, it is so precious. I, I think part of why this is hidden, it's like it's so precious. Um, even though everyone knows about it, I feel like now we have two threes and it's not even a secret, like your, probably your peer group or your social group, group probably knows this. But it's very interesting all the same. The King of Cups always gives me some, you know, um, intoxicants. I was going to say just booze, but it can be just intoxicants. Um, yeah, all right, so that's external energy. Here we have sort of subconscious energy. What could be going on internally for you or the other person? Yeah, three of wands, nine of swords, and the knight of cups. And so we have some characters here as well in this story. Not all of these have to be partners and relationships with one or the other person, either they just could be playing part in the story or just energies. Um, we have Pisces energy here, some more water energy. And then that, <laughs> that third party uh, vibe with both external and subconscious energy. So, I can't help but think when I, or feel I rather when I see these together is um, where do I find this? This is what I'm feeling when I see all this together. Like where do I find what it is that, you know, feeds the romantic soul here. This is like the hopeless romantic <laughs> in the Knight of Cups. He does bring an offer. It's a very, you know, he's sweet, he's sentimental. But, you know, where does it go? That's what I'm feeling here. Like, where 
there's a lot of heart and energy and passion in this manifestation, but where is it going? I almost feel like there's a little bit of um, like no direction. So maybe that could be part of this seven of swords here in the situation being this manifestation, this master manifestation energy. Maybe it is time to focus on one thing here. Too much going on here in the Seven of Swords. Right? It's also foolery. I mean, there you could be fooling yourself and thinking that you're juggling all this stuff, right? Or, you know, when it comes to the situation or... You can manifest a bunch of things at once, for example, or whatever it is for you in this thinking energy, strong, bringing something to life energy, because it's got you in your feelings, and you see beauty in it, and you see the Four of Wands really does speak to a partnership with regard to the home. That really can mean anything. That can mean you and, you, you know, the best roommate of your life. It doesn't have to be love, but it can. So your heart is thinking about this. So maybe, maybe concentrating at this point versus looking for more information or overthinking, overexamination, or even distraction. I, you know, you, there could be too much going on. So focus is probably the key here and really moving away from this five of pentacles with the overall energy. This was at the top, so this follows this energy here. So yeah, it's just like wanting to communicate this, but where, to whom? <laughs> There's so much passion, but it feels like it has no home here. With the five, that's the rejection. That's the cold shoulder. It is, it's poverty, right? So it's just feeling left out that way here with communication and with all the ones showing up here in the heart. There's this almost like a desperation here to learn this language, to learn this new language here. Learning about a lot about oneself too, like what is important. This is reunions and expectations here, right? So, and you could be feeling rejected or, or feeling like those messages aren't going to come in or if they do here it'll be not what you want to hear so yeah it is it is no matter what even if it's like high vibe tricky energy this it's getting away with something energy so Maybe facing something could help solve a big problem, particularly with sleeplessness here or a sense of, of anxiety around something, honoring, honoring what it is that makes you feel beautiful or brings beauty into your life here as well. And recognizing that, recognizing your own depths. Your emotional depths here can be beautiful. Honestly, I'm starting to see this as more of a self-discovery reading than a relationship reading. It's just, you're learning about how to manifest your wildest dreams here, essentially. Like, the, this is gorgeous. So, it could just be trial by error here as well. Tri yeah, trial and error. And something will pass quickly. The fives are a little chaotic and then they pass quickly. And it's no match. It's no match for what you have to bring to the table in terms of your own mindfulness. So, 
if there is any sense of feeling left out here or anything like that, do something else here. Call someone else, you know, don't draw attention to it. Don't pay any more attention than attention to it than need be. And focus. <laughs> focus on the positive emotional fulfillment, what's deep to you, what's true to you. Right? Stay real. Don't deny um, what's true here. All right. So I'm going to leave it there, Collective. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. I love doing these readings for you. And yeah, I always hope it's helpful to someone out there. So until I see you in the next one, bye for now.